Building gorgeous websites with WordPress has never been easier, especially in the era of AI. But let's say you want to create a very customized website and you have very specific layouts and sections in mind. And since studies show that web design influences 94% of all first impressions online and that 74% of web readers pay attention to the quality of spelling and grammar, well, up to this point, unless you are a professional web designer and a copywriter, it was a bit challenging for beginners to create websites with a higher level of customization. And even for professionals, the whole process was oftentimes slow and time consuming. Well, this has now come to an end with the design library from starter templates. In short, the design library is like having a personal designer, developer, and copywriter at the same time. And today, I'm gonna walk you through it because there are actually two ways you can use it. And spoiler alert, one of these is completely free. Hello, I'm Kay from the Astra team. And I don't know about you, but personally, when I build a website, there is always at least one thing I want to change. Like, for example, adding a new section. And yes, it is super easy to do with visual website builders like Spectra, but then I still need to find images, write compelling copy, and make sure that what I created works on all devices. But now, with the design library, you can skip all of that. Let me show you. So, imagine this. My uncle owns a dental care practice in California and I've been tasked with building the website for it. Now, luckily I stumbled upon the Brainstorm Form YouTube channel and I followed this video tutorial. Actually, this guy looks quite familiar. Can't remember his name. Ah, it'll come back. So following his advice, I went to plugins, add new plugin, type starter templates in the search field. Before you ask, starter templates are compatible with all WordPress themes. But in this video, we are using Astra. Next, click the installed, activate it, refresh the page. And here I was offered the choice, but it was a bit different from that video. And that video was a bit older and I didn't know what this AI website builder was about. So I just clicked on classic starter templates. Next, I look at a few of the templates. They were gorgeous, but this one was my favorite. And anyway, I thought I'm going to change everything. So it doesn't really matter which one I pick, but still, I like this one. So I picked it. Next, I uploaded my logo, selected it and made it large enough so that it's visible. Next, I like the font pair so I didn't touch it and I switched the original color palette for this one. I clicked on continue, skipped additional features, filled in my info, selected all options and clicked on submit and build my website. And then I just sat back, relaxed and enjoyed the short flight. And ta-da, 18 seconds later, my website was ready. Yeah. So of course, first thing I did is click on view your website and there it was. So as explained in the tutorial, I just clicked on edit page and there I was ready to go, ready to rock, ready to take on the world and make this the most beautiful website ever. Yeah. And that's precisely when my uncle told me, hey, it's nice, but you know, I don't want this services section like this. Actually, I just want two images. I want the text on the side. And when it comes to this section, yeah, I prefer if the image is on the left. And, you know, I started scratching my head. And if you can notice, there's not much to scratch. And that's when I started scratching my head, like, how do I do this? And next, my uncle told me, Hey, what about this text? It doesn't mean anything. Tell your website visitors who you are. Why did you write this? And I told him, no, this is this came by default. Just give me the text and I replace it. And he said, which text? It's your job to do it. So I was about to hit my life when the light came at the end of the tunnel. Thanks to the very talented teams of designers and developers at Brainstorm Force. They never really get credit, so let's give them some. So first of all, what I did is I opened the document overview panel and I just removed the containers that I did not need. And next, I clicked on the design library button. But first, before I do that, let me remind you, there are two ways to use the design library. One is completely free and the other one uses AI, but more about that later. So I clicked on design library and this is the gold mine. Here you got all your different blocks and sections called patterns. So here, for example, I got the hero patterns. I can click here. And these are page headers. You get the about, services, service list, features, and so on. There are so many to choose from. Plus, you can also change the color scheme based on all the settings you have in your theme. So here we're using Astra. 
and we set the colors so I can choose whichever color scheme I want. So the idea is simple. You have a lot of different blocks and you can pick any block and they're already responsive. That's the beauty of it. So for example, first thing I'm going to do is select a hero section, click on insert. And the first time you'll try to do that, it's going to ask you to connect to your ZipWP account. Now, if you don't have one, no panic, it's completely free and you can actually sign up with your Google account. Just one click. So click on get started. And here I see a prompt because I'm already logged into my ZipWP account in the same browser. But if it's not your case, you'll be prompted to sign up. Like I said, it's free. So once you've done that, just click on continue. And there you go. Our pattern is inserted. Now, if you want to double check, we can go into responsive mode. Let me select tablet. And as you can see, it works perfectly. And let's try mobile and same story. So let's go back to desktop mode. I'm going to select this container. Once again, if you want to be sure, you can open the document overview and see the hierarchy of the info here on this page. So let me close this. Let me click on design library. Then let's go to about. And my uncle wanted two pictures with text on the side. So that looks like it's perfect. Let me click on insert. All right. Now let's repeat the process. Click on design library. Then let's go to why choose us. And let's pick this one where the image is on the left. But first, let's change the color scheme. So we want a difference between the previous pattern and this one. The previous one had white color and we want some contrast. So let me click on insert. And there you go. Now, let me scroll back up. This is looking good. Let me click on update and let's check a preview. And there you go. Here is our hero section. Then we got our section with the two images and the section with the image on the left hand side. And as mentioned, it's fully responsive. Now, this is looking great already. And I'm purposefully keeping it simple for this tutorial because in a real life scenario, more than likely for the home page, I would add more info. But let's keep it simple for this tutorial. What I want you to grasp is the concept, because once you learn it, you can do pretty much anything you want. So like I said, it's all great, but now I still have to go and find images unless I've been given images, but my uncle has no images and he doesn't want to make a photo shoot right now. And he even told me, you know, the dentists come and go. So he doesn't want to have the dentist faces on the website. Not too many, you know, except from his, for example. But for the rest, I have to deal with the images and I have to deal with the copy. I have to go and pick information and I also have other tasks to do. So that's where the second way to use the design library kicks in. Let me show you. So I'm going to click on design library one more time. But now instead of just choosing one of the patterns here, I'm going to click on the gear icon in the top right corner and I'm going to click on personalize library. Now, before I do that, please remember that I'm already connected to my ZipWP account and that in order to personalize the library with AI, you need what is called credits. Now, I will break down how many credits you need for what in just a few moments, but know that you get 1000 free credits per month. And with 1000 credits, you can have access to two different categories of the library or one page made with AI. So let me show you. So let me click on personalized library. And now we need to give information to feed the AI so that it knows which content to create. So first, the name of the website is going to be called Dental Force. Next, this website is for, so let me start typing dentist. And here, let me select dental care and click continue. Next, we need to describe what the company and website is all about. So try to give enough information. You can follow the path, what, when, how, why, and so on. So this is what I came up with. And if you need help, you can click on improve using AI. Next, click on continue. Fill in the contact details that you want to see displayed on the website. And if you have any social media, you can add it here. Next, click on continue. And here you can upload your images if you got images. But if you don't have images, which is my case, then it's beautiful. All you need to do is type some keywords and you got the corresponding images. So I'm just going to select a few of the images here and click on continue. And as you can see here, if we want the whole design library to be powered by AI, it's going to cost us 5,000 credits. Whereas if we wanted just to add individual categories from the design library, it would be 500 credits per category. And that's why I said with the free 1,000 credits that you get per month, you can have access to AI content for free 
for two categories. All right, let me click on personalized library. So it's gonna cost me 5,000 credits. And now we just need to wait for the library to sync. And there you go. Now let me click back on all. Now the amount of AI credits did not change here because I had already previously done the operation for this website. And now as you can see, we have the images that know the context. So the AI knows this website is about a dental practice and he knows which images we selected. So we got images that are really tailored to this type of industry and to this website specifically. And even the text, if you take a look here, transform your smile with dental force today. And if you go to, for example, page header, experience the future of dental care. Well, you get the idea. There is now a context. So while you're building the website, you now have the appropriate images and text. So now you can really focus on building the website and you don't have to deal with copywriting. Maybe you're not a skilled copywriter. And if you don't already have images, then you're set. So what we're going to do, I'm going to close this, make sure my page is updated if I made any changes. Then I'm gonna go back to WordPress, pages, add new page. And now let me go back to design library and let me recreate what we created initially. So let me go to hero and I'm going to select this one here. Click on insert next design library about, and let's pick this pattern here. So click on insert and one more time, design library. This time let's go to why choose us. Let's pick the appropriate color scheme and click on insert with this one where the image is on the left hand side. Now let's click on publish and let's click on preview. And there you go. As you can see, the text is on point. Smile without fear. Transform your smile with dental force today. Experience state-of-the-art dental technology and compassionate care from our team of skilled professionals. Book now. Next, we have our section here. Smile with confidence. Empowering smiles one at a time. Established in 1987, dental force, yada, yada, yada. You get the idea. Next, we have this section here where we change the colors. And once again, the images are on point and same with the text. Can you imagine the amount of time this is going to save you? And now let's compare with what we had initially. Still looking good, still looking beautiful. It's the same design, but now the drawback is that you need to find your own images and your own text. So let's do a quick comparison section by section or pattern by pattern, should I say. So this is our hero. And this is our hero with AI. And now let's scroll to this section. And this is the AI version. And finally, let's scroll to this section. And once again, this is the version with AI. And now let me go back to design library. Now, as mentioned previously, if you want to get categories individually, it's gonna cost you 500 credits per category or you pay 5,000 and you get the whole design library powered with AI for this website. Next, you can go to the pages tab and here you can generate content for your pages. So here it says 5K, so 5,000 credits, but we can skip and then we can go for pages individually. And in that case, it's gonna cost you 1,000 credits per page. And what it does is going to build the whole page, content, images, what you just saw, but streamlined for one page instead of going pattern by pattern. So it's really up to you. You can go with pages or if you want a more customized website, then you may want to go with the patterns and mix and match different patterns. Now, this is all nice, but how much is a credit worth? Well, to find out, just click here on the number of credits and click on buy AI credits. And as you can see here, it's super affordable. So for $39 per year, which is a little bit over $3 per month, you get 200,000 credits. And bear in mind, we just synchronized the whole design library for this website for 5,000 credits. So here, for a little over $3 per month, you get 200,000 credits. And if you need a lot of credits, for example, I don't know, you're an agency and you want to give that service to your customer and you're going to build a lot of websites, then for $99, you get 800,000 credits, almost 1 million credits. So hopefully after watching this video, you now realize that the design library empowers anyone to create customized WordPress website that look professional and maintain design consistency.
And cherry on the cake, if you are using the AI features, you can now speed up the whole process and let AI write compelling text and serve related images. So why don't you try it for yourself? It's free and you even get 1000 free credits per month so that you can try it with AI. Yeah, see you in the next one.